Hey there, this is Deb, and I am coming to you with some blog bites. It's been a minute since I've done a blog bite, and I realized that, so I'm going to do a blog bite with you today. Hopefully my mic is sound is okay. I know some other videos, the mic wasn't as loud as it should be, so uh, hopefully this is better. So just to FYI, for anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, blog bites is something that I was doing every Friday to highlight a blog since I've been posting blogs on Fridays. So that's what I'm going to do today. But also there has been a bunch of updates on the Find Calm Here website. So if you follow me with the screen here, I'm going to show you a couple of things with the video. So there is um, at the home page, you'll see a start here. And if you click down to Find Calm Here blog, you will land on this page. Um, there are some featured pieces at the top here that give you some extra resources. And then here's this week's blog. So let me go over that with you today. Uh, the membership evolution strategies to stay ahead in community building. So this article is all about uh, community launching and course launching. You know, it's reported that uh, from stats I have here in a report, 55% of community fresh professionals need help keeping their members engaged. So if that's you, if you're feeling like, oh, my course participants or my um, membership, they aren't as active as I want them to be, um, then that's, you know, that's kind of what we're talking about today. The truth is that social media algorithms push your content um, through advertisements to your audience. So a lot of people have been leaving social media and focusing on how they can directly connect with their clients instead of using third-party platforms as in, in regards to social media. One of the things that I love to highlight here is some characteristics of membership. So an online community that requires members to pay at the door. If you have a paid community, um, that means you, you already must have won them over. And so if you are starting a new business, a membership is a really hard sell for somebody who doesn't already know, like, and trust you. So if you are not some, if you are somebody that has a business, then great, then, then do uh, a membership. I think it depends on your level and if you have a team or not. So thinking about that monthly memberships, they require you to charge dues every month. Um, and then that also questions people are going to question each month why they stay or why they come back. So those are some points to think about here. And then alternatives to memberships. So, so let's say you're in that bucket of I'm a new uh, community builder. I want to launch a membership and I know I should charge for it. Start with something else. Start, start with something small. Think about a coaching program. Think about a mastermind group. Think about a challenge. Think about smaller opportunities instead of thinking um, about things in a year or months. Think about things in days and weeks because that's how we really live in life. And the messages that you share with your ideal customers or ideal clients, they're going to understand you if you're coming at it from an approach of, I really want to help you. And if you give them a specific time frame that matches with their ability to connect. So live workshops, much more successful than uh, self-study or, or passive courses, for example. And so if you, so this article just talks about, you know, focusing in on who your audience is um, and how you can build additional revenue streams authentically. Uh, so that's that article. I hope you check that out. Also, the update I wanted to share with you is there is an update for the book. So the Creator to Community Builder book uh, is with the designer. We are uh, a, week, a week or two away from official launching of the book. Um, you can click on this link here to sign up for the Advanced Reader Cohort. I will have that in the, in the YouTube um, link. I wanted to also point out to you that there is uh, some additional resources here. I've added a tech tools link. So if you are looking for the best tech tools, then there's a, a link there that shares with you some of the tech tools that I use and how they can be beneficial to you. There's also some um, special offers. So things that I've used that I enjoy using, I for mobile and for groceries and for meals. So um, I'm sharing those things with you today, as well as 
a new design service that I have for my Mighty Networks people, uh, Mighty Networks design customization um, is available. So here's a form for you to fill out if you are thinking about launching on the Mighty Networks and have no idea where to start, or you just need somebody to put that uh, coaching program or course together for you, uh, send me this, uh, fill out this form and I will be in touch within 24 hours to talk with you about it. So that's all for today. I hope you are finding calm in this day, evening, moment, afternoon. Don't forget to subscribe to the community strategy podcast. Season two has excerpts of the book. So just FYI, the podcast here, the community strategy podcast has excerpts of the new season uh, which is focused on creator to community builder and giving you excerpts from the book. So please check that out. And uh, until the next time, I hope you're finding calm. See ya. Bye.